Mathematics Class 10th Practice Paper for March 2020 in Telangana Rangaradi paper Sample Paper Part B So see here 20 questions Each question carries 1 marks for 2022 Okay Now first question if you will see Which of the following is non-terminating repeating decimal Non-terminating repeating decimal Here this is 16 So 16 by You can write as 125 You can write as 5 cube Denominator if it is in the form of P If denominator if it is in the form of 2 or 5 It is terminating So here we have 5 it is terminating And this is 25 by 32 32 you can write as 2 power 5 Here also we have this is also terminating And 35 by You can cancel it 5 times 10 5 times 7 So 7 by 10 Here 10 means 2 into 5 here you have 2 and 5 this is also terminating so 100 by 81 is 3 power 4 see we should either have 2 or 5 here it is 3 it will not terminate so the correct option is C next one A intersection B here they you got theta but it should be actually null set A intersection B null set so if A intersection B is null set it means they are like disjoint sets n of a union b formula is n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b but if we have disjoint sets a number of elements in this disjoint sets of a intersection b will be like zero so this will become zero n of a union b equals n of a plus n of b this is zero so correct answer is a n of a plus n of b otherwise number of elements in a union b you can explain in another way also if you take two sets like this joint like one is one two the other one you can take five six seven this both are like disjoint because nothing is common in both so number of elements in a is two number of elements in b is three if you do a union b you will get one two union five six seven so you will get like one 2, 5, 6, 7 so the number of elements in A union B is 5 so N of A union B is 5 number of elements in A 2 and here 3 so the correct option is here A next one the Venn diagram represents the Venn diagram represents the tool see here it is shaded A minus B is shaded A minus B and B minus A so you can write here like this you can write A minus B union B minus A but this we don't have in the option so see complete both the circles is shaded and this middle part is not shaded which is nothing but A intersection B so A union B minus A intersection B because see A union B will shade like this A B A union B will shade like completely like this and A intersection B a intersection B you will shade only this part so now this part is missing in from this one so A union B minus A intersection B correct option is B we will call it as like symmetric difference of sets A union B minus A intersection B or A minus B union B minus A so the correct option is here B next fourth question if alpha beta are the zeros of the polynomial then they are asking 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta now here see 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta if you will take LCM alpha beta here at the top you will get beta plus alpha so sum of the zeros is minus b by a and product of the zeros is c by a a and a will get cancelled minus b by c minus here if you will compare the equation x square plus x plus 1 with the standard one a x square plus b x plus c a value is 1 b is also 1 c is also 1 so minus 1 by 1 which is nothing but minus 1 so the correct option is d if you will try to find alpha directly you will not get because if you will try to split the middle term 1 into 1 is 1 with 1 into 1 you will not get here again 1 if you will add or subtract so we have to use this formula next question 
which of the following equation is not a linear see it is linear in two variables because degree is one it is also linear in two variables and the d option is also linear in two two variables x and y here the degree is two it is not linear because the option c is quadratic so correct option is c next product of the roots of the quadratic equation so here the quadratic equation is x square plus 7x equals 0 standard equation is ax square plus bx plus c so if you'll compare a is 1 b is 7 c is 0 because we don't have the constant and they are asking the product of the zeros so product of the zeros is alpha into beta which is nothing but c by a here c is 0 0 by 1 is nothing but 0 so the correct option is a next one common difference common difference is a2 minus a1 this is the first term this is second term 5x by 3 minus 4x by 3 5x by 3 minus 4x by 3 is 1x by 3 so the correct option is d if a point a comma 5 lies on y axis see if you we'll take any point on y axis x value will be 0 so 0 comma 5 so here they told a comma 5 so a value should be 0 so the correct option is c two polygons are similar if their corresponding sides are equal corresponding sides are proportional see if it is triangle one condition is enough corresponding angles are equal you can take but if it is polygon if it is a collateral in collateral angles as well as sides both should get satisfied for example if it is a triangle if corresponding angles are equal for example this is 60 70 and this is 60 70 then a b c no need to check the angles sides sorry if angles are satisfied then no need to check for the angles satisfied then no need to check for the like sides if sides are satisfied then no need to check for the angles for triangles but they didn't mention triangle they told polygon so for polygon compulsory it should be sides and angles so correct option is c you should be careful correct correct option is c next one if we'll see the last question tenth one here a b c is similar to x y z c triangle a b c is similar to triangle x y z so angle c is 60 angle b is 70 so 60 70 is 130 so angle a will be 50 if angle a is 50 angle a equals angle x because the triangles are similar so x also will be 50 angle b equals angle y angle c equals angle z so x they are asking so it is equal to a so the correct option is b here correct option is c next question 11th question if x is the distance between center one second if x is the distance between see this is if i'll take a circle this is radius center to an external point if x is the distance between center to external point so this distance is x and radius is y then the length of the tangent see length of a tangent here it is 90 okay so if you apply Pythagoras theorem op square equals o a square plus a p square op is x square o a is y square plus a p square so x square minus y square equals a p square so a p is under root x square minus y square so length of a tangent is under root x square minus y square so the correct option is c next question the surface area of a hemisphere the surface area of a hemisphere see surface area means here you need to find total surface area surface area is nothing but total surface area so here total surface area of hemisphere is 3 pi r square diameter is 14 so radius will be 7 so 3 times 22 by 7 into 7 into 7 7 and 7 cancel 7 times 3 21 
ट्वेंटी वन टाइम्स टू फोर्टी टू इंटू इलेवन सो दैट इज फोर सिक्सटी टू सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज बी नेक्स्ट वन एक्सप्रेस टैन टीटा इन टर्म्स ऑफ साइन टीटा सो टैन टीटा इन टर्म्स ऑफ साइन टीटा सो यू कैन राइट इन डिफरेंट मेथड सी टैन टीटा इज नथिंग बट साइन बाय कॉस बट यू वॉन्ट ओनली इन टर्म्स ऑफ साइन सो कॉस टीटा यू कैन राइट एज अंडर रूट वन माइनस साइन स्क्वेयर टीटा सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज बी और अदरवाइज सी यू वॉन्ट आंसर इन टर्म्स ऑफ साइन टीटा सो साइन टीटा यू कैन कंसिडर इट एज के बाई वन के बाई वन सो ही आर अपोजिट बाई हाईपुटनेस सो इफ विल टेक ए ट्राइंगल टीटा ए बी सी अपोजिट इज के हाईपुटनेस इज वन इफ एल अप्लाई बाई दिस ए सी स्क्वायर इक्वल्स ए बी स्क्वायर प्लस बी सी स्क्वायर फ्रॉम हियर आई विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ बी सी वन माइनस के स्क्वायर इक्वल्स बी सी स्क्वायर सो बी सी विल बी अंडर रूट वन माइनस के स्क्वायर ना यू नीड टू फाइंड टैन टीटा टैन टीटा इज अपोजिट बाय एडजेसेंट सो हियर अपोजिट इज ए बी एडजेसेंट इज बी सी सो के बाय अंडर रूट वन माइनस के स्क्वायर बट के इज साइन टीटा सो साइन टीटा बाय अंडर रूट वन माइनस साइन स्क्वायर टीटा so correct option is b either this way with identities or with the help of pythagoras theorem next one 3 cot a equals 4 we need to find sin a minus cos a so here sin a minus cos a so 3 cot a so cot a value is 4 by 3 cot theta is adjacent by opposite so if we we'll take a triangle If we we'll take angle at a, so adjacent is four, opposite is three, because cot theta is adjacent by opposite. So if we we'll apply Pythagoras theorem, a c square equals a b square plus b c square. If you know Pythagoras triplet, you can write directly five. Another way is four square plus three square, sixteen plus nine, twenty five. A c is root twenty five, which is nothing but five. So sine a माइनस कॉस ए साइन टीटा इज अपोजिट बाय हाईपुटनेस कॉस टीटा इज एडजेसेंट बाय हाईपुटनेस सो अपोजिट इज थ्री बाय फाइव एंड माइनस फोर बाय फाइव सो थ्री माइनस फोर बाय फाइव विच इज नथिंग बट माइनस वन बाय फाइव सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज हियर सी माइनस वन बाय फाइव नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फिफ्टीन दो The shadow of a tree, the shadow of a tree, is root three times the height of the tree. Let the height of the tree be x. Then shadow will become root three x. They are asking the angle of elevation of the sun. They are asking theta, opposite adjacent. So I'll take tan theta, opposite by adjacent. X x cancel, one by root three. Tan theta equals one by root three. You will get for tan thirty. So theta value is thirty degrees. Correct option is A. The centroid divides the median in the ratio two is to one. So correct option is here D. Centroid divides the median in the ratio two is to one. Next seventeenth question, if you'll see. Log hundred minus log fifty. So here, if you'll apply the formula log A to the base x. Minus log b to the basics. That is nothing but log a by b to the basics. So here log hundred by hundred by fifty. Fifty times one, fifty times two. So which is nothing but log two. So the correct option is b. Correct option is b. Set builder form of a. See here this a you can write as like one by one, one by two, one by three, one by four, one by five, one by six. So one x is that x is nothing but one by one two three four one is numerator is same but denominators are like natural numbers till where we have natural numbers till less than seven or less than or equal to six so correct option is less than seven correct option here is B 
in the given figure number of zeros see the graph cuts x axis at four points so the number of zeros four correct option is b next one last question see less than 20 here see whenever delta less than 20 this is cumulative frequency less than cumulative frequency so here this when it is less than cumulative frequency all the values should be in ascending order here 56 is there then we have 84 which is 34 which is not possible so i will make it 84 i'll make it 84 now next one see which of the following is the median class they are asking so here model class sorry so to find the model class so first here i'll write class and frequency so class is less than 20 so 0 to 20 20 to 40 40 to 60 and 60 to 80 less than 100 so 80 to 100 this is less than cumulative frequency so we need to write frequency so first write 4 then 12 minus 4 which is nothing but 8 25 minus 12 13 56 minus 25 which is nothing but 31 84 minus 56 so 84 minus 56 is 28 84 minus 56 so so now here in this the model class will be the class which has the highest frequency the highest frequency is 31 so model class is 60 to 80 60 to 80 so correct option is C so see here how to write this one like first write 4 then 12 minus 4 8 25 minus 12 13 56 minus 25 56 minus 25 is 31 and 84 minus 56 84 minus 56 is 28 so in this way so correct option see highest frequency is 31 so that is 60 to 80 so thank you